So I'm sharing a little bit about what I learned about taking some of the rear hatch trim off uh, the 928. So this is a piece that's still installed. This is the piece I'm referring to. I've already taken off this aft piece, uh, which is really just a matter of uh, backing out center pins that are in uh, this particular trim fastener. So the fastener goes in there, there's a little cap on it, and you just basically pull that back and away or pry it up with a screwdriver and it releases the tension here. But in terms of taking these pieces off, um, a little more finesse is required, so I thought I'd show you why. If you look inside here, uh, these are the clips that secure against these opening points, uh, these uh, fastening points on the hatch. And so getting this away without pulling down and breaking this uh, requires a little bit more finesse than I'd initially expected. So what uh, what I do is get underneath here and I tap on uh, this little piece in order to pry this out in a way and, and kick it out. So if you see on this side that hasn't been done yet, if you look up in there, you can see um, where that's seated. And you take this piece and if you tap it on the back here and give it some good taps, It'll actually push the whole uh, clip away with this trim piece and give you a good, um, uh, you can get good purchase on that with, you know, just kind of tapping that in there. So I'm going to see if I can't move the camera to show that. All right, so here's that tapped away piece um, hanging down. So you can see as they ran uh, wires for power for both the um, rear light, uh, hatch light, as well as um, lines for the defroster uh, in the back. Uh, you want to make sure that you carefully back these off in a couple of places, so don't just rip the trim piece down and away. And as you can look, these clips do double duty. They both fasten the trim piece to the hatch, and then they also act as fasteners for power uh, that's running aft. So the clips themselves, once they're in this state, uh, the best way to get those out is to take either a screwdriver or the tool that you just used, and you can get it just underneath here. And if I get lucky, this will work for me one-handed, but it may not. Let me see if I can show you one-handed um, how to get the, get that uh, get purchased underneath these clips once you get the trim piece out. So what you're doing is as you pull up, you're releasing uh, the prongs that are otherwise digging into the plastic. You can see the grooves that they make. And as you lift up on that and then work the top of the fastener a little bit, um, it'll start to come free. I may not be able to show that. Well, wait a second. I can show it one-handed. There we go. So you can see where this is starting to lift up in a way. And then if I had uh, a third hand, I would show you how easy it is once you know you get to this point. There we go, to, to pop that free. And then the lines are free and you can start working uh, the rest of the trim out.